Hey everyone, what's up? This is Markus with Future Studio University and this is a start of a three-part video series on Thinky. Thinky is a lightweight Node.js ORM for ReThinkDB and the library helps you to define models representing the objects you're using within your code. You know, ReThinkDB as a document store allows you to define and save nested objects and that brings us to the topic of this video. How to query documents by fields of nested objects. I've already prepared a sample project that's available on our FS open source GitHub repository. We will add a link below the video and of course within the blog post. That's the user model we're going to use as a basis for the functionality to query on a nested object. The scenario is this. Each user has an address which is divided into separate fields for street, zip code and the city. And let's assume you're in the need of finding the users for a given city name. Let's get our hands dirty and down to the keyboard to implement a method that gets the user by a given city name. Okay, let's create a function that is called find users by city. And as an argument, we take the city name. And of course, we need our user model that we've already created. Okay, it's the models and user. And within the function itself, we use the filter name of the user model and we're going to filter on the address object. And further, we're going down to the city name itself. Okay, and because Thinky returns a promise of the filter method, we will get an array of users that match the condition that the city name equals the given city name within that function. And we can check if the found array of users is empty. That means there are no users matching the given condition for the city name. And we can use a library called lodash that is a utility library and helps us to make the check very easy using the if empty method. Okay, if that's the case, depending on what you're going to return, like callback or the object itself, we will return a promise and the method will just be a string, like no users found for the city name city. Okay, if there have been users returned, we can return a successful promise with the users array. Oh, I'm sorry, it's is empty. All right, we just need to add when as a dependency and that's it thanks for watching enjoy coding make it rock and if you like this video use the thumbs up button and enjoy your day